Hey, how's it going, friends? I'd like to invite you on this artistic journey. Welcome to the Round Table Bookstore. Welcome, welcome, friends, to the Round Table Bookstore located in Topeka's Noto Art District, where they got socks on socks on socks on socks, and they got books on books on books on books. And it looks like on these hooks, they got so many different kinds of choices to look. I'm trying to make a rhyme, but it didn't work. All right, well, they got cute onesies, anyways. Uh, well, anyways, come join me on this journey. Let's check it out, okay? Getting started, yes. This is fun. It's been a fun project and a huge project, especially for one person. This is the first time I've ever painted something just multi-layered surface, multi-wall a multi-dimensional picture with just so much heart and story, which could only be done with a collaboration from the great people of the Round Table Bookstore. So it's been a great opportunity to get hired by them. And they saw me painting around the area and just hit me up. So if you know anyone else with some space on a wall, uh, you like what I do, hit me up. Let's continue. People always ask me what my favorite thing is about making a mural. Probably the painting part, being artsy, not this part, climbing up and down and doing this over and over, but this part, the painting and rolling and mixing, you know, where you can get lost in it and the passion takes over. So you don't mind climbing on stuff. Stuff like this gives you an excuse to climb on things, like when you were younger. So, Takes you back to being a kid too. Keeps you young and keeps your cup full. So I feel blessed nonetheless. So, what was uh, one of the reasons why you guys decided to hire me, or have me come into your business to paint your walls? Uh, one of the biggest things was uh, seeing your work before, especially like the George Floyd uh, mural and stuff, seeing that, and not just the talent, but like that you cared about things that were happening um, was a big thing. So then we found out who did it and then went and looked more at the other things you had done and we kind of knew that's that's someone that we want to do work in our store so it was i think the main reason and we thought we have an open canvas right here we thought for a long time there are a lot of murals in the noto area we want to be part of that story also so we've been thinking about it for quite a while about what we want to get in here as a mural and then when we started seeing more and more of your work, we knew right away that you were the person that we really wanted to have do this with us. Oh, nice, nice. I appreciate that. And like I said, it's been an awesome and great opportunity. And it's, it, I've actually learned quite a bit working on this. And I've been able to hopefully inspire other people and share it. So trying to hopefully generate more attention towards your guys' business. And like I said, when I do something collaborative, 
when I've been, all my mentors have told me, like, when you do something with people, it's not a one and done thing. It's like you did something and they're going to talk about you. So you want it to be, it's like a family. So when you have a strong network, you're going to have more things and you won't have to worry as much because you'll, you'll have more people to take care of each other. Yep. And so sure. with art, I feel like I tried to do that. It's not just a picture thing. Yeah. Well, and I think when we started thinking about, okay, now we're ready to do the mural, we saw your piece, the banner also down outside the Noto Arts District office and mm -hmm. just began to see several things that you had done. So we wanted, to, we wanted to snag you before you made it rich and didn't have time for <laughs> small people like us. So, so uh, the last question is, um, what do you think has been... What is a great thing about having a mural in your establishment? Um, not necessarily by me, but just by any artist. What do you think the positives are, if there's any negatives, but anything to your, that comes to your thoughts? Well, I think you have come in here, kind of looked at the bookstore, and the mural tells the story for us. And I appreciate that you uh, took the time to kind of we're creative in that respect because it's somebody reading, it's the way reading can impact you, and then how it changes your life. So for me, it just matches up perfect with the bookstore. And I really appreciate the fact that, like Donna said, you came in and worked with us for quite a while to put things on, gave us a lot of things to choose from. And you chose to put in here the things, the elements that we feel were important. And like she said, starting in a book and then the things throughout the whole mural from beginning to end are things that we feel strongly about. So we appreciate you putting all of that in together for us. Cool. And I think a lot of times people go to indie bookstores looking for unique things, whether it be books or art or just an experience. And so part of having a mural and not just wallpaper or something like that up is that it's different and unique and it's it makes people want to come and look at that mural just like you come and look at other murals in Noto and things like that. So um, it, it, it puts a different stamp on our store, which I think is, is good. It's not a cookie cutter thing. Well, and having an artist who is part of Noto, mm -hmm. I mean, people know who Jordan Brooks is mm -hmm. here in Noto and so that works out great. Not only come see, but they see you out around doing other projects in Noto. So that's a great connection for yeah. us. Yeah, for sure. Well, like I said, it's been a great opportunity for me to be a part of your business. And, you know, I hope that once it's done, it's, you know, it's going to inspire more people to come in here and pick up more books, to be honest. That's the point. And maybe hang out longer and maybe see something else that they weren't thinking about because, I mean, I did it too. I was looking around at some things and I was like, okay, I might have to start reading a little bit more. <laughs> like, I, I noticed I, I was like lo looking at the backs of things and I was like washing off my hands and I was like looking at the back of things and originally it started off me looking for stuff to stack on to stuff for this because I forgot my stand or something. And then I'd be like, huh, that sounds really interesting. <laughs> and then 30 minutes goes by. I'm like, dude, I got to get, I got to do something. Because <laughs> I've like looked at different books and I'm like, oh, it's that. And I'm like, cool. And I'm telling my girlfriend, like, what do you think about this? And I snap her a couple of pictures and she's like, that sounds interesting. Yeah, I'm going to have to come in there and check it out. So like I said, I think that's the point. And I yeah. think one of the things when we were discussing all of this with you, you said, and this is what I feel is your commitment to this is, you want this to be the best mural in the state of the can of state of Kansas, and you say that to us, and so that's what we expect, and that's what I feel like we're getting from you. I appreciate that, guys. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. No problem. Thank you. All right. So next time you see it, uh, it'll be done. Let's get it.